Hey guys, welcome back to the Cat Lady. This is part four we're on. I'll go ahead and load up our game. There we go. Okay. So when I when I tried to put the game up um, and record, uh, it was running awfully weird, but it seems to be running fine now. I think I just needed another uh, reboot sort of thing. Um, okay, our plan was to go into the dream world, right, and then try to find a way to get red stuff into the little medicine thing and give it to her in exchange for her and bad. See? See? Not bad. <laughs> I noticed on the last video I actually forgot to put the, uh, the toilet seat down, but I am male, so... That's what happens. Um, so we'll ring the bell for assistance. And I wonder if we can skip this because we've already seen it. Someone is coming. Yep. Okay, come on. Have you rang? Yes. Uh, I feel a bit woozy. I think it can you. I'll tell her. She'll check my wrist That's thing. Fine. That's fine. Take the liquid. We'll take the drugs this time. Because we don't care. We just want to get this done so we can go into the creepy ass, weird, horrible world. No sub. No subtitles came up that time for some reason. What are you doing? Hey, where are you going? No, this shit is running weird again. Oh, for fuck. I don't know why it's running like this, but it's running weird. Anyway, we need to find a way to get the red stuff, so... Come on game, don't run weird for me, just run regular. Right, we won't go straight to bed this time, let's... We might have to go... No, we can't get in her room. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Okay, so... She did say something about a heart. Is that thing filled with drugs? Okay, so... Oh my god, these noises. Hurry up. Use... Oh! Cut, cut it then? Yes! Cut it then, fill it. Oh. Okay, now fill it. Please fill it. I'll fill it with this drug. Yes! Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, I just want to get back to bed. I don't like this dream world. The noises creep me the hell out. Come on, get over there. Let's lie down. Whew! Okay, we have the red stuff. From the heart in the dream world, or whatever the hell is going on. <laughs> but we're fine. It's in the morning. We're, we're, we're totally fine here. Come on, get up. Get up and let's go. The drugs have worn off, and but I can't. Yes, I know. Let's go. Yes, we have your red stuff. So let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Uh. I'll oh talk God, to you I'll talk. later. Yeah. The reason I said yes. that is because I think I just have to use the medicine. Or... They're watching us always. Yeah, I know, I know. Poor woman. Ugh. Go back. <laughs> No, I want to do this. Give. I found the thing you asked me for. Yes. But are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. Woo. What do they? You know what? It You're right, it, it doesn't matter. Just give me the freaking armband. Thank you for your help. Okay, step one is complete. We have her armband. What the hell do we do with all these gloves? <laughs> Annie's band, examine. It's a clip. It's a clip on hospital name band. It says Anne Jennifer Burton, 15 11 1975. Okay, so. Hmm, what if we go tell. Let me out of this menu, right. We could try this, I mean... I know that the nurse looks at the band every time we push the panic button, so I don't know if she'd take us to her room. 
uh, and then take the other one motel room and then we'd get the release notes or whether we can just pick up this. Okay. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. But they're mine. Yeah. Well, maybe you should. If you want thanks. Right, we've heard this. What if we throw? Throw a glove in the toilet. All these gloves in the fucking toilet. Oh my god. What did that do? Now what? <gasps> oh my god. I get it. I get it. Uh, I get it. And then hopefully we're going to get her to try to fix the toilet and we'll go back. Please. <laughs> it's been too long. If this isn't it, I think I'm just going to cry. Come on. Come on. Have you rang the bell? Is there an yes. emergency? Toilet. The toilet's blocked. <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's hardly oh, a Sort it. When you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine. I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Please. Yes. Let me go. Let me go. Let me oh, go. Let me go. The gloves again. I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Please, just let me take the damn thing off the desk and leave. I don't know why it gives you the option to take only one glove. But whatever. No, don't read them. Take them. Quick. Yes! Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need um, to see a discharge. Actually, I've yeah. got one. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name, Ben, to confirm that you are indeed... Oh, Adam? yeah! Oh, all right. I didn't realise you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. Oh, thank God! Yeah. Whatever this... You goddamn hospital. No, get out of my way. Why should it be such a bitch? <laughs> Why do I have to play as a character that I hate? <laughs> oh god, please just let me out of here. It's locked, thank god. Is this locked as well? I assume it's gonna be. Yep. Maternity ward on exit. Fucking hell! And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well. No! <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Ah! Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight, and you can be discharged in the morning. No, Why can't I can't go no. tonight? I want to go now. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients. Ah, whatever. Now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that Just all right? Just let me leave. <laughs> I haven't really got much choice, have I? Ah, now well, at least we did ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course. I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? We. Oui. I live on my own, that suits me just fine. I live on my own. And it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. 
People mostly bore me. Sometimes like me. they annoy me or upset me. <laughs> I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm, I'm between, between jobs. jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon, but it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for I that. I don't want You're pills. Very strong and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Check YouTube. Can't <laughs> 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 so have a cup of tea, read the news, I eat breakfast, cereal, I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. Right, oh, yeah, let's do that. And smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day. But it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Really sad. Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. Those if I bastards. Don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life A man! <laughs> Someone to fight for, you know, a reason to go on. Yeah, Something let's do to that. fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression? No, I do not want to do that. <laughs> yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Just lie. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I... I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? Every, Every night. night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Ugh, hot milk. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? It's cold milk. Ice cold milk is all you need. Okay. I feel... I feel now. fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Yeah. I'm not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes. Yes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Yes. Only sometimes. <laughs> I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah. Yes. Sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No, of course no, not. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong. And yet, I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me 
Why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt. No. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't, wasn't a, a cry for thing help. that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. This is really bringing me down. <laughs> seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was... And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a Oh bird my god! Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What Society. makes you feel better? <laughs> How many fucking questions? My cats! I always put out the cat lady after all. Cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Oh my fucking god. People. People. They've let me down too many times. I don't know who to trust anymore. I only trust my cats these days. So you say in the suicide note. Because that's oh, I don't know, did I? I've been stabbed in the back more times than I could count. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react to your death? Can you please come on with the story? Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no, no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't <laughs> miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. <gasps> I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? Now it's getting interesting. What had happened between you two? Oh, she can't talk about it at all. Look at all these options. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Oh. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay. One more question. Oh my god. This is just a formality. But I, I have to ask. Are you going to do it again? No. That's a hard one. I don't know. <laughs> but hey, I've got it. The answer is, no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. <laughs> What do you mean nearly? That was your Just last question. I must clear. Oh my word. What Just exactly shut your fucking mouth. Night. Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, <laughs> considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Was she I went up? after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Am I moving now? Oh my god, I am. Um. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. 
I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> what? When is this? Like, when did this I happen? I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. We're gonna get caught. Is this like bef before she? I'm guessing she was fired or whatever. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Okay. I'm really having a hard time following this. Oh, here we are. Okay, let's call the lift. Get our asses in the lift. <laughs> what is going on? I'm so confused. What are we doing on the roof? Yes, Liz. why are we on the roof? Can I save it here? What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? <gasps> why is there blood on our clothes? It's bigger than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. This is a bad idea. Come so down, did she kill herself? Talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Oh well, besides, looks like... I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course oh I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about oh, the woman Christ. in A and E? Oh fuck. Oh no. I don't know. I, did she say any of she these? Disappeared and was later found dead in the toilet. You just made that up, didn't you? I've never said such a thing. You're a liar. But oh. okay. I can prove to you that I listened. Just don't jump. Please. You can prove it. Fine. I'll give you a second oh, chance. No. <laughs> Did I tell you about my flatmate? Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? If you really listened, you will remember this one. She's not a stripper or a burglar, I think I would have remembered that, so waitress or stewardess. Ah, oh, fuck. She's a waitress. A waitress. Ah! Oh, you're full of crap after all. You never listened. I did. I swear I did. I was really tired and drugged up when we talked, so I can't remember exactly what Good cover. Said. Good cover. But it doesn't mean I don't care. You don't. Nobody does. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Oh my word. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Yes! I got one right! You've got this one right. But it's not a responsible. You no. didn't cause me this pain. This suffering. I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No. Oh God! Why is she covered in blood? What the hell happened? Oh Jesus!
So do you reckon she's one of the people that the woman, that, the devil, I was talking back. about or whatever? I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. Where is she then, As a huh? matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. Well, I'll go. Come on, yeah. I don't even care that easy. much anyway. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back. Is he back coming on to me? For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Oh my god, what? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh. Uh -huh.